Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's November 21st, 2022. I'm here at the location where I was planning to build the, my second store. I thought I would show you guys the actual area. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. So as you can see, there's a daycare right across the streets. It's kind of a busier road than my other convenience store. Let me check my watch, 5.30 got out of work we just had this garden done looks really nice with the with the rocks our gardener did a great uh, great job so this is the exterior of the building it's just ever to put a sign so as you can see it's a corner lots There's some nice uh, palm palm trees. There's a, an, an entrance here also. Not the main entrance, but it's a side entrance. This would be a good area for for the delivery of, of uh, beer and the other in inventory. It has a ramp and a, and a white door. The new meter that I had installed. There used to be a roof here, but it was in poor condition i had it removed i was gonna do it again and i actually bought the material to do it but i'm gonna use this as an exit i found no reason to redo the porch i still gotta cover that area so water doesn't leak inside and destroy my my walls As you can see it's like a stucco rock on the walls it's really nice instead i had the the carpenter make that roof that's my new truck it's basically two lots, two corner lots. Here in this area, I was thinking of putting a food truck, putting some lights here under, putting a food truck there with a window, and then some tables here, some ceiling fans, some lights. That way the people can stop by and eat here. So I bought this property for 145,000, which is a big lot in the, in the, in the big warehouse. And the same owner sold me this adjacent lots. As you can see, if I remove the gates, it will be one, one single lot from streets to streets. Let's walk that way so you can see what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, this lot doesn't have any utilities if i want to open a business here i would need to put a, the water meter and the ele electrical meter so this is the lot as you can see there's a lot more traffic than my convenience store competition is opening up right across the streets that gas station has been closed for years my original plan was to make a swimming pool here to rent out and have the people park in the store i was thinking of putting cinder block fence all around putting a swimming pool there maybe a covered a covered roof here a palapa uh basketball court that way people can rent it out for small parties so my wife has a relative she rents a pool she makes about ten thousand dollars a month for about seven months so maybe she makes sixty or seventy thousand a year from the swimming pool business about 350 uh, 350 to 400 a day there's a pastor that wants to buy the property from me he just contacted me last week i really didn't want to sell it because i was planning on opening the second location but i just threw him a big number i told him 399 fully repaired from, from the inside and he liked the price so i'm just waiting to hear back from him let's go inside right now i've already spent like fifty thousand dollars rehabbing the building Okay guys, so this is the building. So you can see it has some nice windows. It's wood floor under, it's not cement because it's, it's kind of raised. There's like a five foot attic on the bottom. 
decided to paint the ceiling black. Some of the ceiling tiles were dirty, so instead of replacing all the tiles, I, re I decided to paint it black. I think it looks pretty cool. Well, I don't know what you guys think. If you, if you see the, all these divisions, all these divisions were walls. There was a wall here. There was another wall here. There was another wall, a wall. So everything was closed. We, we tried to make it open concept. We left this aisle in the middle because I was thinking of putting a register there. A register on this side and then a register on the other side. That's why we put electricity inside. You walk in through here, you would see the two registers and you can take this side. I was gonna put the, the mean market there, put some shelves in this area. There's more windows, put some shelves, shelves, some aisles here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get rid of that uh, post. I can, I can, but I'm gonna have to invest a little bit more, more money and run it that way. So I might, I might do it to get rid of it. It, it takes a lot of space there in the middle. All this tile is new, the painting the wall is new, the paint on the, on the ceiling. As I mentioned, I opened up everything. There's another door there, it's an exit. We're putting the cement boards and then there's the wood on the bottom as you can see. Here in this wall, the reason we didn't remove it is because I wanna put a walk-in cooler there inside that room. And all those, all that wall, I want to make it into glass doors. Glass doors. And then I put some lights here. So this would be basically the fridges where I would put the beer and the, and the milk and the, and the sodas. And then on this wall, I was thinking of putting there two chairs. And then on this wall, I was going to put a, a little window. There's an office inside on the other, on the other side. We would do the money transfers there and, and to cash checks. So you can see another another point of view from this side. I was thinking of putting here two 12 foot meat displays for the for the uh, for the butcher shop for the deli, and then on this side the butchers would be dispatching the the food from this side. This is one of the things that I didn't like. That's what I get for not coming every day. There's a difference in in the floor. So instead of raising this floor the inch with cement, he, he he made like a little step and I really don't like it. But that's what I get for not coming every day and checking what they're doing. Lesson learned. So let's go to the other rooms. So I'm gonna put the AC here, two five ton machines. This is gonna be a warehouse. So we're gonna come in through that door there's gonna be shelves here. We're gonna have, have the back office computer here. We can input the new inventory into a system before it goes to the floor. It's a restroom with a shower. And then there's a hallway here. Let me see if there's a light. Oh, the light went out. This is another restroom, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this restroom. This space and this space will be the walking cooler. This, this will be the walking cooler. The doors, the doors, the glass doors will be there all the way to, to that door. So this will be open. This wall will be removed. And uh, this, from that wall all the way to that wall will be the, the walking cooler. This little office is the one that I was talking about. It's gonna be the, the one that's gonna have the, the, the glass window there. This will be used for the money transfers and the check cashing. There's gonna, I'm gonna put some desks there. I'm gonna do a division there, maybe do like a T and then put a, a man's restroom and the woman's restroom there. And then have like a little waiting area here. So you can see the condition that it was in when I bought it. I'll put some pictures of uh, our video of how, how it was before. So there's a lot of shelving that uh, was left behind. And this will be a private office and it has a, a private restroom also. So there's gonna be one restroom, the one in the warehouse, and then the two restrooms in the middle, male and female. I really don't know what to do. I've been praying to ask God for guidance to see if I should 
sell it and make a, a big profit. Right now, I have about $205,000 invested in it with materials, labor, and the cost of the building. I told them that I would sell it for $399 cash or $399 with $50,000 down payments, and I finance it for 15 years at 10% interest. He stated that tomorrow he's gonna talk to his father to see if uh, they can apply through the bank. If not, he stated that he'll give me the down payments. I don't know what I should do, if I should sell it or keep it and put the and open the store. Let me know what you guys think. Like I mentioned, I, I've been praying. The pastor is also praying. He he wants the building to make a church. He's a, he's a local business owner. He owns a restaurant, but he wants a church here. I'm really debating what I want to do. I think it's a great location for a convenience store and a meat market. The windows look pretty cool. There's an, another convenience store about a block away. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there, the blue one. It's a Stripes. It's, it's actually a gas station. So we're in between two, two gas stations. I'm not really afraid of the competition because what we sell is very different. We sell more items from Mexico, more Mexican candies, novelties. Usually gas stations have a little bit higher margins than us. So I'm really not afraid. I'm gonna cross the street so you guys can see. I don't wanna get run over. So there's the building. Uh, I should have cleaned this out. I can already see it with the neon light there of the name of the grocery store. Maybe painting the corrugated sheets on the, on the roof. And I already see a, a food truck there with a, with a bright lights there. Some tables there to, to eat out. I think opening a, a convenience store from scratch would be a great Thing for the channel but also doubling my money basically i still have to put the ac so i, I i'm figuring i'm gonna spend another twenty five thousand. so i'm gonna be all in probably two hundred and thirty thousand. if i get 399 i mean it will be close to doubling my money so i put this because uh, a lot of neighboring uh, businesses were parking here i didn't want anybody to get injured and be liable for for them when they're not even supposed to be parking here. So that's why I decided to put a no parking. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what, what do you guys recommend? If you wanna see another store in the channel, if you want me to sell the building, with that money I can start buying more properties and flipping properties. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Please subscribe, please please give a like. Uh, we're up to 416 subscribers. If you guys have any questions, if you need help with anything business related, personal finance, I'm here to help out. So there you have it guys. Uh, this is the update video on my second convenience store. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. There's more interesting videos to come in. Thanks a lot, guys. God bless. Peace.